Hi and welcome back. In this video, I'm continuing to look at using range selection in Waveform. I'm on Waveform 11. A lot of these features started with Waveform version 10. And I am exploring using the range tool as well as the new actions panel to just create some macros and things to optimize the way I like to use the software. Now I've got the actions panel open. You can open the browser using this tool up in the corner that allows you to show or hide parts of the user interface. This is kind of the basic way that I start with the setup. I've recently gone to using the browser over on the left. In the past, I like to have it on the right, but with the actions panel that allows you to see things over here, I don't know, I'm finding that it's a little bit better to have it on the left again. Also, in the Actions panel, you can favorite different pieces of it to simplify it. So what you're seeing is the browser's open, I've got the Actions tab selected, and I've selected a clip, and I've put all the essential things that I want available for an audio clip. Mute, the gain, auto pitch, an auto tempo, the stretching algorithm, and the pitch reverse. And then these three that we have so far on here are macros that I've assigned. And I've put the keyboard shortcut in the name of the macro just to make it easier. Now notice that these are my favorites. So if I hit this open star here, I see everything that's available. All of this stuff is the same things you would normally see if you opened up the traditional traction style controls panel. You could see all these things down here are all available. But for peace of mind and to get a lot of the clutter out of the way, I've selected the things that I want immediate access to by putting stars next to them in this list. And then when you do that, if you like the way I've done it, you can just pause the video here and just see the things that I've chosen. And then you click this solid star here and that just simplifies that list down to just those items. The cool thing about that is that you can also add another browser pane here by clicking plus and then look at something else like maybe files or search at the same time while having your action panel items ready to click on. So I'm going to clear this one and go back to this view. So next I want to show you a simple new macro that I have figured out to do a split range. And what I mean is I want to drag a range with the new range tool. Hold on shift and option if you're on a Mac and drag the range. That would be Shift and Alt on some keyboards or on PCs. And that draws in this range, which was introduced with Waveform version 10. And from here, you could do a variety of things, like you could just pull this piece free. But what if you just wanted to separate it at each end? There is a macro that I've created to do that called Split Range. And basically what it does is it just splits it at each end. There is no built-in way to do this without creating a macro. And I'm going to show you how that macro works. Back over on Settings, go to the Keyboard Shortcuts page. And in the search, this is how I get to macros. I type in a few characters of the word macro, like this. And that shows me all my macros. At the bottom, I have my macro editor. Now, split range, I'm going to click on that, and you'll see the code for it. I'll just, just kind of show you how I approach this. I'm going to put in split clips after positioning the transport in two positions. And notice that I did the mark out and the mark in as the positions. That's the beginning and the ending of the new range selection. When you drag in a range selection, you have the mark out, and I do the, the split at the out first and then the in because you're going to wind up with your cursor essentially in the last position of it. If you want a quick way to get the basic 
prototype for this code in, if you right click, go to basic actions under marker, set loop range from selected range, you'll see you get, you know, kind of, you know, paste in some of this code that you need to start with. Then you can right click here and under arguments, change this to transport, change this to transport. And then we've got mark in and mark out. I also switch these. So I cut that, pasted that in. And then the other thing you need is a split. So that's also right click, basic actions, editing, and split clips. And that puts in the code for that. And we need that twice. I'm just showing you how I did this coding without typing this in. So I've basically now got this in here twice. So that's the approach to writing that. I'll just go ahead and delete all of this. And then split range right here is the name. If I double click on that, and I've assigned it to the keyboard shortcut option and slash because your normal split is the slash key in waveform. So I decided after working with this a few times just to put the keyboard shortcut in the name. And then back up here in the actual thing, you'll see the assignment right here. So to do that assignment, you would click here, type option slash or forward slash, and then save it. And so that should now work. So back over here, I'll undo that. And now you see that I can either do option L or I have it assigned here to this area. I'm going to delete it from here and show you how I've done that. So I'm going to right click on that little star and remove it. And then at the bottom of this, this is the actions tab or actions panel of the browser. Click add macro, user macro. And then here is my split range. Just put that in there. So then I can use these from either clicking in this area or using the keyboard shortcuts. Now there's one other thing that I often like to do if I'm doing this type of editing. So I'll put in a few splits and say I'm doing some of this editing. I'll pull in a range and do a ripple delete. I might want to merge this back into a single clip, which would be option M. There's a standard keyboard shortcut for this to do option M. The thing with it is, is if you have this on multiple tracks with this particular shortcut command and drag these to copy them to another track, if I'm doing this across multiple tracks and say I've done some edits, on several tracks, and now I want to merge them all into solid tracks. I'm going to hold down Option, which would be, or Alt, drag over all of them. If I use the normal Option M command, it actually merges all those clips together into the last track. Well, what I actually want to do usually is just merge them on their own track. And there is a command for that. And I also want it to appear here in the actions area with its keyboard shortcut. I'm going to essentially take a standard action and just make it into a macro so that I can do that. Back over on the settings tab, keyboard shortcuts, I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Down at the bottom where there's a script editor, I'll click show script editor if it's not already open and click new macro. And I'm just going to call this merge clips. I'm going to use the same keyboard shortcut, but I'm going to put it in here so that I can see it when it's on the actions. Option M like this. And to get the code for it, right click in here and then go under basic actions, editing, right about 70% through this list, merge selected clips on separate tracks. And it just has this line of code, merge selected clips true. 
And that's really all we need for that. And I'm going to then reassign this option in M to my new macro here. Just type option M. And I'll say, OK. It's currently assigned to merge selected clips. But I will reassign it. Same keyboard shortcut, but this different action. So now when I do this, now when I do option M, you'll see it quickly renders twice. And it would do that for as many tracks as you had. So if you're doing a bunch of editing and then maybe you wanted to do an export, like if you wanted to drag all your tracks out into another system or something like that, and you want solid tracks, I don't know. The way I usually work, this is more what I want than to merge things across tracks. So I hope you enjoy this video. You could leave comments. It's a little bit longer video. It's a little bit more just an exploration of how I set up Waveform rather than a typical tutorial. So let me know what you think about this type of video where I just talk through things. And I will see you again in another video very soon.